Hello, welcome to the G Platform Seismic Data Processing System. G Platform has two main components the G Platform Project Management window and the G Navigator Workflow Execution and Data Viewing window. In this demonstration, I will review these two main G Platform components. We are currently looking at the G Platform Project Management window, and I will describe each of its components. The main window is the project tree, and this is where you will add and build your projects or DBs as they are called in G Platform. And you can then you add a project and then you will build underneath it a project structure that suits your needs. There are help icons along the top of that window to help you open, close, add, and delete various project levels. Once you've selected a particular processing level, project level, you can go to the workflow window and see all of the workflows that are associated with that particular project level. And if you select a workflow, you can go to the flow viewer and you can see the components of that workflow, the modules that it contains. And if you highlight, if you select a individual module within that flow, you can then see its parameterization. We also have the workflow history window, which shows saved revisions of the selected workflow. We also have a templates window. Templates are predefined workflows that you can add to your processing sequence within G platform. They're already defined with particular modules and Vista outputs, and the user can save workflows that they've built as templates for use in other projects. Then we have the project data window, which lists data sets that have been created within the G platform project that we've got selected. We can use a context sensitive menu to help us uh, n narrow our search faster or we can use a filter, a uh, file type filter that's part of the, the window as well. Then we have a jobs window which will list jobs that have been run in the any open active G navigator windows. We have the jobs coalition tabs which would give us uh, information about the status of our cluster if we were running G Navigator uh, in a cluster mode. And then the global properties uh, is for future development. So let's take a look at G Navigator. In order to start G Navigator, you would select a workflow and double click on it. And then the G Navigator window will, will appear. This is a very simple workflow that I've uh, selected here. It basically is uh, just reading in a SegWi file, displaying a selected uh, prescribed number of traces here, and then also displaying any XY information that it may have in the SegWi headers, and giving us some information about the uh, data set itself. Here we're looking at the uh, EPSIDIC text header printout of the input data set. These are just examples of three various types of vistas that we can look at, use to look at our data within G Navigator. G Navigator is also used to build workflows, and we have several other windows that are controlled by uh, tabs along the outside edge of the uh, G Navigator window. We can select each individual tab indi uh, by itself and open up a window. Here I'll open up just the module manager. We see the module manager open there and close it. Or we can open up all the tabs along a particular axis by pressing one of the three little blue buttons that are along the outside edge of the G Navigator. We also have some, some drop down menus and some quick uh, selection icons along the top that will help us execute and navigate within the G Navigator window. So let's open up the first module manager so we can see the module manager here. This is selects this shows our workflows that we would currently have loaded into the G Navigator. And I'm going to go ahead and hide that. I'm going to open them all at once. And we can see that they're layered now in various tabs. The module manager is, is an individual window, but it has several sub tabs in there, including input connection about your 
about the modules within the flow and then parameterization and other settings and other information. Over on the left side we have some more tabs. One is the Vista View Manager which would list all the vistas that we have open at the particular time. Here it looks like we have six open but we only see three on the screen but that's because I've moved these windows around which they can all be manipulated and positioned the way you'd like them and then sometimes even layered on top of each other so that you can select between each one. And here I've got two different types of views set on top of each other. We also have the Vista items from DB window which would then which lists any items we may have saved from any Vista that we have open. So this is just kind of a quick overview of the G platform project management window and the G navigator workflow execution and data viewing windows.